So right now, I'm inside the world's only football hotel. Located next to Old Trafford in Manchester, this ordinary looking building actually happens to be the world's first and only football hotel. But what makes this a football hotel, I can hear you ask? Well, that is why today we're going to be going to Manchester to find out and stay overnight in the world's only football hotel. I fell down to earth, but it's overrated. Yo, this is insane. All right, so we've just arrived in Manchester. We still have a 15 minute taxi ride to get to the hotel though, so let's go. So after jumping in a taxi at Manchester airport, we made our way to Old Trafford. And after arriving 15 minutes later, we just needed to take a quick walk across Old Trafford to get to the hotel. Time to book into the hotel. After checking into the hotel, we made our way to the rooms. Something we also noticed on the walk to the rooms was how the wallpaper in the corridors was made up entirely of old football stickers, and it featured a lot of football icons to make up the design. So this room is the class of 92 room. This is the best and most expensive room in this entire hotel. Let's go check inside. Yo, this is insane. Look at this view. This room also came fully stacked with football team stuff. We had wallpaper with quotes from football icons like Cristiano Ronaldo and Arsene Wenger. It also came with two signed shirts from ex-Man United players Gary Neville and Philip Neville, along with lots of other touches to remember the original class of 92. We also can't forget the TV and that crazy view of Old Trafford. Oh, and also the free mini fridge. This honestly has to be the sickest hotel room I've ever seen. This view is actually insane. I know it is looking out onto probably the most disappointing club in the world right now, but you have to admit, that is pretty sick. Our two in hotel football was pretty eventful, and I started it off by beating my friend Keelan in a game of Mario Kart. Suey! <laughs> It was also when I decided to pretty much empty the mini fridge. I hope you guys are hearing this. It was also an hour two when I decided to take in the view. I had to grind for this view. Look at this, we created this. Okay, so as far as I know, this hotel has an actual football pitch on its roof. I'm not sure if it's open right now, but we're gonna go check it out. Yo, this is crazy. The rest of our three in the football hotel was spent playing football on the rooftop pitch and also making TikToks. Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. We're gonna Ozil bounce this one. It's not looking good, Bev. Penalty four. Oh. Last penalty, we have to score this one. Hour four is when we decided to check out Cafe Football, which actually has a lot of football team food on the menu. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. <laughs> mm. 
All right, so we're just back from dinner now. Honestly, it was amazing. It is getting pretty late now though, so I think I'm just gonna get ready to go to bed. Okay, so day one of our time in hotel football is coming to an end. Honestly, this has been the most incredible hotel I've ever stayed in. I still have some pretty cool stuff planned for tomorrow, but for now, let's get to sleep. So after hour six, it was time to bring day one at hotel football to an end. Good morning. So we still have four hours before we have to check out of this hotel today, so let's go get ready for breakfast. Look how cool these soaps are. They look like shirt numbers. Time to get a shower though. Breakfast time. Hour 17 is when we finally decided to leave the hotel and check out Old Trafford. So this is where Christian Ronaldo plays. Suey. Christian Ronaldo, Suey. As well as checking out the ground, we also took the chance to check out some of the most iconic features of Old Trafford, like the United Trinity and some of the stands. So unfortunately, it is now time to check out of the hotel. This has honestly been the craziest hotel I've ever stayed at. We went to the football pitch on the roof, it's right next to Old Trafford, but unfortunately, it is now time to say goodbye. Just gotta make sure I have everything. Goodbye, football hotel. So with one last goodbye to the class of 92 room, it was finally time to check out. <laughs> 